Is dropshipping dead? Hey, what's up guys? It's Brendan here. Today we're going to be talking about is dropshipping dead for 2018? I see this all over the comments section, sometimes in DMs. Just people are like, is dropshipping dead? So many people are hearing about it. Is it going to die? Can I even do this? Because too many people are doing it. Is it becoming oversaturated? And the simple answer is no. Dropshipping is not dead. If anything, it's just getting started. So in a second here, I'm going to hop into the computer and we can go through the details of is dropshipping dead? What you need to be doing for 2018 to succeed. So starting things right off the bat here, as you can see, not at all is just getting started, okay? Dropshipping has existed for a long time, people selling Chinese products cheaper from manufacturers and then selling them in retail stores, okay? Before e-commerce existed, that's pretty much what people did is they would just take the Chinese manufacturers like AliExpress and then sell them physically in person and a lot of stores still do that, okay? A lot of products that are sourced for Walmart, all those retail stores that you see, a lot of those come from China, okay? It's basically the same type of business model here, but instead, you know, we're drop shipping and sending products directly to the consumer instead of, you know, housing that somewhere. But there's a lot of different things with Shopify that you can do uh, to really keep yourself afloat and alive, okay? Because the reason why so many people die off and, and fail at drop shipping is just because they're not adapting to the marketplace, okay? Things change over time. That's something I wanted to get across here uh, is that you have to adapt to product trends and the way things are going, okay? So especially with the long shipping times and stuff like that, obviously you have to adapt with customer service, okay? Some people are not doing that. They're failing to do good customer service. That's a big problem there. Uh, you know, a lot of different product trends. Some people get success with one product and then they're like, they get so excited and then it dies off and they're like, oh, I don't know how to drop ship anymore. It's like, no, because you may have relied on one product, but you have to realize that things change, trends change, you have to adapt and change. Maybe another product is now hot. You know, you go and find another trending product or hot product that can sell well. You have to adapt to the way that the marketplace is changing. Another thing you could do is the difference between building a brand and building a store. Okay, a lot of you guys are starting just stores, okay? Just basic storefronts with a variety of different products and not really building any sort of brand, okay? One is different from the other, you know, especially with brands, people are more willing to uh, spend money up front uh, to invest into their brand versus where stores, people may be not as willing to lose money up front. You know, a brand, that's something brands do, okay? Because they're acquiring a customer for the long term, okay? Brands are the long term approach where you're gonna make a lot more money, okay? Think about a product like uh, some sort of uh, jewelry piece, okay? If you were just some basic dropshipping store, you buy it for $3 and you try and sell it for like 20 bucks, okay? But if you're a brand, you could buy the product for like three to ten dollars and then sell it for like a hundred okay because you're a brand you're building out a name that people trust okay it's very different when you're starting a store that's just a general basic store people don't really care about it they're just buying from it because they're like oh wow this is kind of cool like oh this is this hot product but if you actually spend the time to build a brand, you have a lot more long-term longevity with making money and making higher profit margins as well on your products. I mean, think about Kylie Jenner. She gets all those products for so dang cheap. Those beauty products, super cheap and sells them at such a markup because of her brand, okay? That's what it comes down to. The next thing, marketing platforms, okay? Marketing platforms can change as well, all right? Think about Instagram, think about Twitter, uh, Snapchat. I mean, Snapchat kind of dying a little bit because of their different changes nowadays, so more people are hopping on Instagram, on the Instagram stories, so that's a new uh, source of traffic that maybe some people would be interested in using, okay? You gotta think about that. All right, then there's also, you know, YouTube influencers. There's, there's all these different things that you can use for marketing platforms. Uh, some people just aren't taking advantage of it all. And over time, there's gonna be new social media platforms that have attention too. So you have to adapt with the different platforms based on what has attention and where you think you could uh, interact with influencers, make sales, build a brand, okay? That changes over time as well. Have you sourced the products, okay? Maybe you order some products, take some pictures yourself, and you know manually fulfill them from your house because you know I have multiple different friends that have done this and they get the quick shipping times that way. That's one way to do it as well instead of just relying on drop shipping, which takes long shipping times, like you know two, three weeks, even four weeks sometimes for some of those products to get to your customers. Instead, you just get the products yourself if you have like one trending product, you order it and then you just ship it out from your house and you're able to deliver like fast USPS three to five business days or even less one to three business days 
uh, shipping times and that's what customers and consumers really like especially if you're trying to maintain that brand okay you want to have good shipping times you don't want to screw people over with long shipping times if you're trying to actually build a brand okay because that leaves a bad taste in their mouth with you if they can can't expect to get their product for like two to four weeks like what the heck of course uh, your store might die once you lose that one product because no one cares about your store because they hated the shipping times they're not gonna order from you again so that's another thing to keep in mind there and let's actually go through an example store of a brand, okay, to kind of tie this together here and how they're charging more money for their products, okay? So the, the store that we're going to be taking a look at is Alpha Elite Athletics. If you guys are familiar with Christian Guzman, uh, he has a fitness brand, okay? He spent a long time building out this fitness brand, but this is what I'm showing you here. This is a Shopify store as well, uh, not even super complex theme. It's one of the free themes, actually, just a little bit of edits to it. But as you can see, they just released their new joggers here, selling them for $50. $52, okay? He is definitely working with manufacturers to create these custom products, but he's he's based off a trend, okay? Joggers are a trend within the fitness industry, within the fitness niche, okay? And more specifically for him, you know, he has an influencer a slew of marketing and all that kind of stuff that he can run products through that gets him sales, okay? There's different uh, things that he set up in order to make so much money off of this store, but you can see he's selling them for like $52, okay? This product is not crazy special. It's a jogger made out of some material, you know, similar to Nike, Adidas, all that, those kind of brands, but he's able to sell it for $52, okay? Guaranteed he's making sales on these because he just released them and people trust and like him, okay? Look at this product description. Nice and explain the sizing, okay? Keeps it simple there, just explaining it. Uh, the track pants or the, the joggers or whatnot. You know, $52, okay? This is because he has a brand, Alphalete, right? You can't just go randomly trying to sell the same joggers from AliExpress for $52 unless you have a brand. People aren't gonna buy it for $52 because they don't trust in it. They're like, oh, they might buy it for maybe 30 uh, if you don't have a brand, and but then your profit margin isn't as high and stuff like that. So that's something to consider, just giving you a little bit of an example here with this e-commerce store. So moving right along though, it, with dropshipping being dead and some people like accuse things or they hear this from some of their influencers that maybe be putting the wrong thing in their mind uh, on YouTube and stuff like that. Some people saying it's so dead. Uh, is that e-commerce is growing, if anything, okay? Retail stores are closing. Think about Toys R Us is shutting down all the locations. Claire's Jewelry, all of these stores that are getting basically beat out by Amazon as well as the way that technology is moving, okay? A lot of people are just opting to buy online because people want convenience, okay? People love to sit in their homes. This is why Uber Eats is so popular. It's because people can order food from their couch, from their bed, okay? And literally just send the food the products that they want right to them without having to get up, leave their house, and spend a bunch of time doing that stuff. People want the convenience, all right? People can shop online instead of having to go to stores to shop instead, especially with jewelry. I mean, that's why Claire's closed one of the first ones, Toys R Us too. These are the stores that aren't as essential that you need to go to, okay? Grocery stores, you still kind of need to go to them because they're food items. They're not as easily shipped, okay? Although Amazon is working with Whole Foods Market and stuff like that to get that set up within the e-commerce space, uh, you know, those stores are still doing fine, but you can see the toy stores are shutting, have been shutting down for a while, really. Toys R Us is just, you know, one of the biggest brands that's shutting down. Toy stores, you got jewelry stores kind of closing down. Uh, I know, uh, other than Claire's, I know a couple other, some of my friends, uh, they've worked there. She was saying, oh, this, this store's like going bankrupt and I'm still working here. It's like, yeah, because these jewelry stores, people don't need to go to anymore. They can just buy stuff online and it's a lot more convenient for customers because it's stuff that, you know, there's not really a whole lot of benefit. With clothes, sometimes people still like to try stuff on Okay, but with jewelry, it's kind of like one size fits all. You just put it in, like it's not that complex, okay? So people can see online, oh, this is cool, let me just buy it, all right? And the same thing with Amazon, I mean, people could just going and ordering all these different products, it's so convenient, uh, you get it super quick. And so that's why people are just moving to it and e-commerce is growing if anything, nowhere near dying, okay? So the whole thing of dropshipping or Shopify or e-commerce dying is a complete myth and it's just, it's it's only true, okay? It's only true if you're not adapting and looking at the way that the market is moving and trying to build a brand versus just a store. All these things that I just talked about, your marketing platforms, how you're sourcing the products, 
all these things that affect your ability to sell the products. That may be why some of your stores aren't succeeding or maybe why you're dying, why things are dying off. Okay. But trust me in the grand scheme of things, it is flourishing. If you guys want to get started with Shopify and e-commerce, I mean, just jump on it. Okay. Stop just sitting there, not taking action on any of this opportunity. As you can see here, retail stores are shutting down massive, massive opportunity in the e-commerce space. Why not jump in on it? Okay. All these different videos on my channel. Okay. I also have a course. I mean, all this resources of information out there for you to get started and really start making money, start actually going out there and building a business. Okay. That is what you guys want to be doing. So you need to just take action on that. You know, I also have a 14 day free trial link below to get yourself started. I mean, it's free to start. Why not actually put in the effort and work and energy influencers, maybe 10 to $20 to just test out stuff. I mean, just get your feet wet. Okay. That's the most important thing to why so many stores are just dying is because they're not getting their feet wet and actually adapting and doing the right things to succeed. So like I said, check out this stuff in the description box below. I'm sure that will help you guys out as well as subscribe to the channel. Leave a like if you haven't done that already. What the heck are you doing? Do that. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.